Hey YouTube! This week, Olympia Noise Company has released Patterning 2, which is a big upgrade to the original Patterning, which was one of my favorite, uh, actually, let me rephrase that, it was my absolute favorite uh, drum machine on iOS, so I'm very excited to be playing with the second one now. Uh, this has the advantage of all of the features from Patterning 1, including all of the drum kits um, that were available, and you can just go through and, and browse, like, there are just tons and tons and tons of kits, uh, which can't be done right now, because I turned off Wi-Fi for this video, but there's just tons of kits, you're gonna have to take my word for it, and you can download them from the community, I'm gonna use, uh, this one that somebody sampled, uh, Dr. Tripto sampled from Figure, which, uh, is the Technologic kit, um, I'm gonna use that for this example, and... I want to show you the new features of patterning uh, by taking the most generic uh, sort of house techno-y drum pattern I can make, and then we're going to use all the layers of new stuff to make it sound completely new and original. So uh, those of you that have watched several of my videos can easily play along at home. We start off with uh, four kicks. Oh. <laughs> we start off with four kicks. And we put in a couple of snares. And now for our uh, closed hats, uh, we put them in, um, well, I'll show you. Uh, as you're dragging in here, you can drag up and down to set the velocity. And this is a feature that's in pattern in one. It's a good way, if you just kind of do something like this, it's a good way of adding uh, variations in the velocity so it doesn't sound like a machine gun. It sounds like a uh, drummer with slightly different variations and you can kind of continue to tweak that to find a amount of that you like. But uh, for this pattern, I'm gonna take out the third note in each of these uh, quadrants. And I'm gonna replace that with an open hat So right there, what you're hearing, absolute bog standard uh, kind of house pattern thing here. And we can start to uh, play around with this immediately by jumping into some of these uh, settings that we have here. So um, <clears throat> we could take, let's, let's start off with the uh, open hat. I'll solo it here so you can hear what it's doing. Now we could uh, filter this and, and do all this. I'm just gonna kind of Make it a little gentler. All right. And we could automate that by randomizing the filter type. That's not so great, but uh, we do have that option. Uh, we could also uh, actually change the cutoff. You see it's, it starts to automate that. But what I actually want to do with this is uh, screw around with playing it uh, into the uh, reverb and just a little bit. So you see the little dot starts moving around to indicate where it's pushing it uh, through the automation. And I'm automating, or I'm calling it automation, it's, it's a randomizer. Uh, there is an actual automation. Uh, if I hit record, uh, let me close that so that's, oh, God damn it. We close that so that's not confusing here. I'm gonna hit the record button and now play around with the pan. So I've just recorded myself playing around with the panner. And if you're listening to this on headphones, you can probably hear that. It's just kind of adding a little bit of extra motion there. A really interesting new feature on uh, Patterning 2 is ratcheting. Uh, if I hit the uh, pencil in the top right, we get uh, all these different layer controls. Uh, and one of them is ratchet count. <clears throat> So now if I drag this out, it just split that 1 16th into two 1 30, uh, 32nd notes on there. If I drag it out a little further, we now have a, kind of a triplet. And now over here, I'm gonna go a little nuts with it. So we've got like interesting stuff happening. And that was really easy, right? I'm just using a couple of things here and we've already 
begin to diverge from that very boring pattern. I'm going to take this back to um, unsoloed. And you can really hear that. Like, that's awesome, right? Uh, let's throw in uh, a second kick. And this is going to be like a ghost kick. I'm trying to think if I want to... Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I got an idea. So... Throw this over here. Now this second one over here is kind of making the pattern a little too samey. So I want to screw around with that. I could do that with a probability by adding this. I hit the add layers and I hit probability up the top. Now we've got a probability thing that shows up here. So now with probability selected, I can say that, you know what? I don't want that one to always play. Now let me solo this so you can hear that. See, that time it didn't play it. So it's adding just a little bit of a variation there. And in the whole pattern, that really does add a lot to it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to do the probability thing over on the the one ghost note. So I'm bringing it down to about half. Uh, you can see the up in the top right, it's saying my percentage. I'm trying to get this down to 50%. Close enough. And I want to add in uh, this kind of snare as a, a little snare roll thing. I'm putting this around the existing snare. And I'm going to try adding this now to where we don't have a snare. Let me go back into our... Um, oh yeah, I'm going to add probability. I'm going to make these improbable. Like I'm aiming for about 33%, so they only go up one every three times they're going around. Actually, that might sound better if I do that on uh, the like stack the snare with that clap. So I'm going to bring this down to 33-ish and this down to 33-ish and go back into pattern editing mode, get rid of these. Yeah, that sounds really good. Uh, I'm also got a, I'm trying to think of how to show off another feature I want to show. Um, let me solo the kick here. So, Another thing we can automate or screw around with is the uh, ADSR, or actually it's an attack hold decay envelope here. So by reducing the hold, we can now screw around with decay. And if we randomize that, it's kind of interesting, but definitely not good. Uh, you see, if we push it up higher, since we're saying this is a, a percentage, it only moves 17% up and down from whatever we've set it at. And that's not really adding a lot of variation, so I'm actually going to undo that. Just put the hold back all the way up to the max. Um, let me show you that in a different uh, context. Uh, I'm gonna bring in this percussion thing here and uh, do basically what I did with the Do basically what I did with the uh, uh, oh uh, the closed hat when I drew it in. I'm just gonna kind of get us uh, slightly varying velocities, and now I could uh, screw around with the the tuning on this. 
and uh, you'll see that we can quantize this to notes. So we can say, you know, uh, I only want it to go... It, this makes a little bit more sense if you're using like pitched samples like synths or something like that. But in this case, I'm going to be using this to uh, keep this like percussion thing here only varying a little bit in, and in very uh, near notes. So by setting the, the tuning to only give me those things, I give it a... So it, it's jumping uh, octaves in some cases. It sounds like. But that's interesting, right? And we've we've done that now by adding this randomizer here. And now I want to also randomize how often this is going to uh, occur. So I'm going to go back in here and do another probability. I really like the probability as you see it because just screwing around with this, we are adding so many variations. Like this is a single 16 step drum pattern that we're turning into a much more lively sort of thing. So that's what it's sounding like right now that I've kind of screwed up the probability on everything. So let's go back out and um, bring that up a bit so you can hear it. that's super lively that's just one tiny bar of 16 no it's like we've, we've turned it into something that's evolving over time and, and getting all kinds of interesting stuff i really like that uh there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here uh you can start to throw it off kilter and do all kinds of weird stuff like that um i really like playing around with the automation at, like just seeing what that does like I showed you before uh, uh, doing a reverb send with the randomizer. We could also do the reverb send uh, with automation. So I hit record. Uh, we could once again do some panning nonsense. Snares look, sound too good for me to want to screw around with them. Really, thank you very much to Dr. Trypto for bringing in the uh, the figure uh, uh, technologic because I, I absolutely love this kit. It's a lot of fun to play with. I hope that that has been an enlightening video to introduce you to the new Patterning 2 features. Thank you very much to all my Patreon patrons for making these videos possible. Take it easy, folks.